So another day, another weighing day, another feeding day here at the Hawk Conservancy Trust. Uh, we've got Ryan here armouring up to go in and see the free wise men, I like to call them. We are up at the African Whiteback Vulture Apiary. First of all, we have Clay. On the scales, please, Clay. Good boy. Weighing in today, Ryan, at? Nine pounds and 14 ounces. Nine pounds and 14 ounces. What we're now gonna do is pop clay into the house that Simba has just come out of. This is where it can sometimes get quite tricky. But a little bit of food persuasion, always positive reinforcement. And you can see that he happily goes in. Simba's investigating. He's like, ooh, what's going on? Behind you, right? Lovely. One in. Simba, your turn now. Very good. Oh, not quite long enough. So Simba's a young bird. Uh, he's still in training. So every day's a school day. Even something simple like weighing, he's still trying to get used to a routine. Sometimes it needs a little bit more encouragement from Ryan. But you can see that vultures are extremely clever birds, extremely intelligent. It doesn't take them long to pick it up. Weighing in today, Simba? Nine pounds ten. Nine pounds ten. They had some mixed food yesterday. Might suggest why their weights are slightly higher than yesterday. Um, they all had a bit of quail. They will love a bit of quail. Cassius come out and Simba is waiting patiently. Look at this. We call Ryan the vulture man. And Cassius is straight on it. He knows the drill. It's the position we've all known to, to love. And Cassius is weighing in today at? Nine pounds three. Nine pounds three. <laughs> That's his loving noise. We're now going to work them in their aviary. So we've weighed them all. We know what roughly they're going to have to eat. So um, yeah, let's give them a fly. Oh. So a little bit of flying with these birds. We try and use the perching as much as we can. Cassius is brilliant for uh, knowing exactly where to go. And down to Ryan. Beautiful. So just making sure he's working those wings, stretching, exercising all the time. Let's see if he goes up there again. I've been working to try and um, sort of station train him, as Ryan's done there. He knows that when he goes up to the perch, he gets that food reward. Very good. Wonderful specimen of a bird is Cassius. Uh, the bird we uh, fly quite regularly in our Wings of Africa demonstration. And as you can see there, the beautiful white back he has when he flies up to that perch there. And back down to Ryan. You can see it's quite a weight when he lands on Ryan's hand. Like we say, weighing into their nine pounds, four ounces. So extremely heavy birds these are. A lot of weight to get off the ground. Ryan's gonna try one more. Very good, Cassius. Now is the turn of clay. I know what you're thinking. Is that not Cassius still? They look very, very similar, but they are slightly different. And uh, we're very lucky when you start to work with them day in, day out. Very good clay, well done. You start to see subtle differences. Now, the, the biggest difference at this very point in time with clay uh, is his feathering, his plumage. Uh, it's more noticeable when he's got his back to us. So I'll point it out um, when he flies back up to the perch, but he's going through something called a molt which a lot of the birds are doing. It's a sort of a natural time of the year. We're in spring and uh, summer. Uh, you'll find that a lot of the birds will, they'll push out old feathers and, and grow through new ones. Very natural process, something that all birds will do. So if you look at his tail now, so he's, a, <laughs> so he's a little bit gappy. And that tells us as well that with keeping him exercised is really important, um, but it's something that you'll start to see. He's got, a, he's got to work a lot harder than what a full feathered bird would have to do, for example. Um, so you see, he sort of just didn't quite have the oomph on that last uh, flight, but we'll see if he manages it again. We won't push him too hard though. If he doesn't manage it this time, we, we won't push him too far and we won't try it again. 
So he's now looking over at me. He's like, oh, Ben might have some food. Well, I might just have a little preen. <laughs> oh, a little preen. There we go. A little natural clean of the feathers. I'm showing him my bare hand at the moment. This is me saying to Clay that I've got no food. And try and click into Ryan. Training in action, ladies and gentlemen, is what you're watching right now. And but not least, we've now got Simba. Now this will be the interesting one. Youngest of the crew, not officially trained yet. So, um, yeah, let's just see what he does here. Uh, to be honest with you, me and Ryan have not tried to, to get him up to the perch yet. We've only done fist to fist. So it'll be very interesting to see whether he, he engages on what we're trying to ask of him. Oh, it'd be brilliant if he does it, even if he just does it once. See, he's looking around, he's trying to work out what we're asking of him. What we've got here, folks, is a vulture on the edge. Oh, not quite. But he knows he's got to go to Ryan for a piece of food, so it's just sort of piecing the, the, the pieces of the jigsaw together, if you like. And he might not necessarily get it today, but it's fantastic stimulation for him. And eventually he will get to that point where he realises that when he goes up to the branch... He'll get a reward for it. And when he does go up to the branch for the first time, on his reward, he'll get basically the equivalent to like half a cow. <laughs> so he knows he's got to go on the scales. He's got that down to a T. But it's just not quite what we're asking of you, Simbi. Just not quite there. But you got this, laddie. We believe in you. As a wise lion once said, Simba, remember... Sorry, Lion King quote. I think a reward on the fist, I think, is a good idea. So Ryan's now going to have a nice reward on the fist. You know, he didn't quite get what we were asking of him. However, he, you could see he was trying to work it out. We're going to give him another go, though. He's going to try again. So now that he, Ryan's called him to the fist, Simba knows that if he goes near Ryan, he gets a bit of food. And we're going to get him in the right position. Key to start from the same position each time. Really important to keep routine. See, he's really trying to think about it. He's really trying to work out. Where's Ryan pointing? Where do I need to go? And this is what I love with vultures, is that you can see the intelligence from them. Oh, he's almost got it. Nearly, nearly, nearly. One more try today. One more try today from Ryan. And the really important thing is, is to never overcook the egg, to never, to never push them too far, as it were. Always working with them in, in unison and, and knowing the bird inside out, really. It's a really, a really important thing. Okay, right. Last try, Simba. Here we go. You can do it, Sonny. Thinking, Ryan, what do you want me to do? I've flown to you for a piece of food. That's what I know. Why are you pointing up to the sky? Oh. You know, it's a nice thing that he's actually going to you, though. Um, you know, showing that he does see Ryan as the as the food source. Nice slap in the face there for Ryan. <laughs> it's what we love. So we're going to do a couple of flights. Like I say, keep the exercise in there. Flying into the fist. This is now a real special time for, for that bond to be secured between Ryan and Simba. So you're feeding out of the fist. The food doesn't last long with a vulture. Good bit of training. And now it's time to release the other two. 
<laughs> and it's lovely these three get on really nicely of course we're <laughs> of course they would have a little bit of a, a ding dong oh you're the big man Simba the big man eh I love that showing his dominance youngest bird look at that you've got Cassius and Clay they always like to have a bit of a kerfuffle too but there's really no no main sort of bird in charge in here which is quite interesting normally you find in a group of vultures normally there's one sort of bird that sort of sticks out from the rest but if I'm being honest with you they're all okay 